You planted those drugs on my son, McBain. It's too bad that there's no evidence to support that. Hey, if you want to file a complaint, I'll give you the number for IA. They investigate me every week. Of course, then they would have to investigate Justin, too. That's no problem. My son doesn't do drugs. He's never been in trouble in his life. Mm -hmm. well, first time for everything, right? Okay, everybody's very sensitive to the timing of this arrest. I mean, what with the elections coming up and everything. I don't think there's any need to bring unnecessary attention to this. I am very willing to let Justin walk with a fine and a completion of a drug treatment program. No one has to know. It's your choice, Mayor. I could arrest Justin and have him face charges with a judge, or you can take him home. Please. Shut up. Uncuff my son. He is coming with me. Uh, let me get this. Well, I was pleasant. At that pawn, I had a complicated relationship. What's the matter? You saw how Lowell treated his son. There's obviously some abuse going on in that home. Maybe even physical. Are you having second thoughts? I'm just wondering whether we're... Is it, are we doing the right thing here? I mean, we're using that poor kid as a pawn to trap his father? That poor kid helped put Matthew in a wheelchair. Now, I'd have liked to have left Justin out of this, but he put a target on himself when he bought the drugs. Sit. Don't move. Uh, excuse me, Mayor. Could I have a word with you, please? Um... I believe that we can use this unfortunate situation to our advantage. Uh, Nora and Bo are not going to hesitate to leak the news to Vicky. Vicky is not going to hesitate to put it on the front page of the banner. We've got to be a jump ahead of all of them. Go on. Come clean with the public. Not as a candidate, but as a loving parent trying to guide his errant child through troubled times. It's worked on a national level, and it'll humanize you to the voters. Thank you, Dorian. Can, can you set it up? I want to speak alone. I want to speak to my son alone, please. Oh, of course, of course, everybody. <laughs> Let's respect the mayor's wishes, shall we? Oh, a nice five-minute break, huh? Yes, fresh air, fresh air. Thanks for springing me, Dad. That cop totally set me up. How could you be so stupid? At least John's on it. That must make you feel better. Yeah, a little. God, I just can't wait for this to be over. All, all I want to do is be with you and Hope again. That, that's what's going to make me happy. Come on. Hey. Hey. I caught up with Justin and confiscated the drugs. Don't beat yourself up. You did what you had to do. I did? Because of what you did today, it looks like everything's going to turn out fine. Sit up straight. Oh, don't cry. <sighs> Any more lies you want to tell me? I am going to ask you a question, son. And I want you to give me an answer truthfully. You understand? Did you, or did you not, buy those drugs? Yes, sir. I need to know one more thing. And I want you to be truthful. Who sold them to you?
That's great news. Uh, thanks for the backup. We're making headway. We may move on a little sooner than we thought. No kidding. Keep your head down. It's almost over, but might get a little crazy first. Go ahead, say it. I know it's killing you. I told you so. I'll never doubt you again. Well, you better not. What else did John say? Start, you know I can't. Okay, never mind. It's okay. I understand. I can tell you that John thinks that it's almost over. Really? Maybe things will finally get back to normal. Yes, sir. What are you going to do about it? You let me worry about that. There. Go get something to eat. Thanks. Don't go far. We have more to talk about. Yes, sir. It's John. Justin just fingered Cole. And the mayor doesn't sound very pleased. Where are you? We need to meet. Is there a problem? A big one. My son was sold drugs by Cole Thornhart. That cannot happen again. Our heads will roll. What's the case? 